Hello, hello, hello. This is Amphrodite, your pop culture psychic speaking. And it seems like we have a pop culture emergency. Yeah, I'm sure you've already read this title. Taylor Swift, you're out for a psychic review. Apparently, Taylor Swift and Scooter Braun are in a huge battle because she is saying that he is going to take... Apparently, she was put... So here's the story that I am aware of. She had her back catalog up for purchase because she didn't own it. She was offered to buy it back, but her offer to buy it back was she had to produce, she had to re-sign to her label, and then she had to do one album per. So she would do an album, she'd get the first album, do another album, she'd get the second one. So her deal wasn't, from what I understand, she wasn't given the same deal that Scooter was. Um, so she walked away from it because she knew that if she were to sign it, then they would sell the label and she would basically be losing her stuff anyway. So she was in between, she was in a lose-lose situation. Um, and then she made peace with other people having it, but she didn't realize it was going to be Scooter Braun, who apparently she has a lot of alleged beef with. So let's just go ahead and jump right into this and see what we see for Miss Taylor Swift and Scooter Braun. So uh, what we're gonna do here is I'm going to have Taylor on the left and then I'm gonna have Scooter on the right. Then we're gonna have what's in between them and we'll go from there. Okay, so Taylor is on the left. Uh, so Taylor, the Three of Pentacles is job. So first and foremost, what I can tell you is Taylor is putting her career before everything else. Uh, this is definitely 100% like the main motivator for her is like her career and her business. So she's not lying when she says that she is really attached to her music and this is the thing that she cares about, like her career. Like it, this isn't, this isn't, I'm telling you right now, if I pull first pull three of pentacles for a situation like this, this isn't just petty from Taylor. Now, mind you, we know, we all know that Taylor has done some things that are petty, but I'm not seeing this situation as being like petty to her. I'm actually seeing this as really serious for her. Like this is really big for her. This is like this career, I literally pulled a career card. So she's not lying. Uh, now the hermit is upright for Scooter. So um, when I pull a hermit upright, it means that this person is acting in their own best interest for themselves by themselves this isn't a conspiracy so i got to be honest with you i'm not seeing conspiracy to kind of set her up i'm not seeing conspiracy do anything i'm seeing this as someone that wanted this for themselves for whatever reason we'll keep pulling till we find the reason but i'm seeing this as something that he wanted for himself the king of wands is upright which is a lot of passion both of these people are some of the most passionate people that you'll find and that is going to get aggressive. So this will continue to blow up and get more and more aggressive between the two of them. Uh, you're looking at a big battle. This is not going to be something that just blows over with a king of wands. This is gonna get feisty, fiery, and I honestly see other people being brought in eventually, even more than what we've already seen. Um, okay, so the Ten of Swords is self-sabotage and the Eight of Pentacles is upright. Unfortunately for Taylor, she has been baited. Um, look, like I said before, this isn't a conspiracy. However, Scooter is not stupid. And so this was 100% what they figured she would do. Um, I actually think that they wanted this information to go public, but they didn't want to be the ones to do it. So they knew that if they pressed Taylor, she would do this. And so she kind of played into their hands. Again, it's not a conspiracy um, because they're not trying to like get one over on her. They just wanted this public and they figured that the easiest way to do this without them looking bad were to be was to get her to do something like this. So tennis towards his self-sabotage. Um, I will tell you this, with the Eight of Pentacles upright in the Judgment card, the Eight of Pentacles is hard work that pays off and the Judgment card is a public approval. Um, this is 100%, 1,000%, um, the, like the public is a Judgment card. This is business as usual. I mean, if I'm being honest with you, like, damn it, dude. Like, I don't know how else to put this with a Judgment card, but... Like, ugh. can I just say, stands? please don't come for me. I'm really a third party. I don't have a horse in this race. I don't personally, you know, know anybody or anything like that. So please don't come for me. Please don't send me hate. But I'm telling you right now, it's very clear to me that Scooter played the f f freak out of Taylor. I mean, she lost already. I'm going to be honest with you. Taylor walked right into this. I don't actually kind of surprised that she was this sloppy um again it's not a conspiracy it's it, i can't I, they're not trying to get one over on her what they're doing is they're using her the way she's used other people in, in for press like they literally are doing this because it brings more attention to the catalog 
and it's going to piss Taylor off even more. Like, it's actually going to piss Taylor off even more because I don't think she realized that their intention is... I don't see their intention to take her down. I see their intention to make money off of her. So it's it's kind of like, girl, sure, like, you, you know, you got your sympathy and whatever, but you're not going to get your revenge. The Ace of Wands is the birth of something new and the Ten of Cups is upright, which would be her fans. So if we pull the Ace of Wands, it's like, oh, you know, here's my new album, right? I'm birthing a new album. Here's my new stuff. Um, and I do see her wanting to, you know, sort of go into a new direction with her fans. She's going to want a new type of fan. Uh, she doesn't want the same old, same old. Not that she wants to get rid of them, but she's looking to hit a new demographic. So you should actually kind of see Taylor experiment with different types of genres of music to try to get some of the, the new, the older crowd. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if she maybe tries classical stuff or something like that. Remember when, when Gaga did jazz? It's going to be similar to that where she's going to kind of tap into a, a different target demographic. Um, and I do think that this is going to be a good catalyst for that because the Six of Pentacles of Earth, which is like kind of like, you know, a breaking of tradition or breaking, breaking of uh, what is consistent or what we're known for. Um, but if a Six of Pentacles is reversed here, um, what I will say is this. Uh, this is definitely like contract issues and that's it. Like, it's, again, not conspiracy, it's a contract issue. Six of Pentacles is always a contract issue when it's reversed. That's it. These are literally people playing games with contracts because they want to make money. That's it. It has, I'm not seeing anything else. I'm not even seeing petty sh stuff. Like, I'm not even seeing that. The Ten of Pentacles is reversed with the Six of, six of Swords, which, if I'm going to be very honest with you, I don't think that they thought... <laughs> This is going to be, listen, this might piss off the Taylor Swift fans, but I'm being honest with you guys, seriously. And I'm, I like Taylor, but the Six of Swords versus the Seven of Wands, which means they're not convinced that her catalog is worth what they, what she thinks it's worth and what some other people think it's worth. The industry does not think that her music has longevity. So some of what they're doing now is to drum up interest. That's the general consensus of her back catalog that I'm seeing. They feel like, sure, it's good now. Sure, it's hot, but we have to strike while it's hot because in the long run, we'll make some money off of it, but we won't make as much money as some other people think. So they're not valuing her as high as she thinks that they are, which is why they're feeling like, what are you doing, girl? Why are you doing this campaign? We actually don't think you're worth that much. It's kind of screwed up, but I can only tell you what I see. Again, do I particularly think that that's the case? I don't know, but I can tell you that that's what they're kind of playing ball with. Again, it's money, so they're kind of playing ball with it. Like, I don't particularly think that this is gonna be lucrative long-term, so we have to think of ways to make it lucrative long-term. I think that we can maybe finish, figure out a way, but it's gonna require some ba games being played, which is why they're doing this. They're literally trying to drum up interest for her back catalog. That's all it is. The moon is reversed, which is an exposing of secrets. So you're going to be seeing a lot of stuff coming forward. The king of pentacles is reversed and the page of pentacles upright. You're going to be seeing people come forward talking about Scooter now. Um, it's going to happen. These are old clients. I know we've already seen some of this happen, but uh, it's going to get a little bit annoying. It's going to get pretty annoying because I'm seeing the eight of, eight of Cups reverse, which is about people who've walked away from him or he's walked away from them because he didn't believe in them or because he didn't feel like they were a value. Uh, the Eight of Wands reverse with the Wheel of Fortune here, which means people are going to start to cash out on Scooter. Uh, so good luck. Uh, it's going to be really annoying. Uh, there are a lot of people that are going to be trying to cash out on Scooter Braun and trying to make a buck off of him. I mean, I guess it's kind of a little bit of karma, um, but uh, you're going to be seeing this uh, quite consistent. Um, and also, unfortunately for Scooter, some of the big people who are powerful are going to pounce on him now. <laughs> uh, he's vulnerable and they're going to pounce. The Two of Swords reversed, which is about separating so there are going to be people that are going to be separating from him. The Chariot halting progress on all his projects and this Page of Cups. People that he's worked with are also going to be affected from this as well. Uh, so it's going to be really, really frustrating time. Um, this is a war. Uh, again, like I said, I didn't see this. I don't see this as a conspiracy. I see it as money. Um, but now it's a war. So... Uh, uh, this is not going to die anytime soon. I know Taylor said that this has been going on for a while, but guess what? It's going to continue. The Two of Pentacles is reversed. 
the strength card is reversed and the four of cups is upright so that's like you don't you aren't fair you aren't equal you don't treat us all the same you don't give what you say you're going to give and i'm sick of it and i'm going to expose every vulnerability you have and i pull the three of wands versus the two of wands which says that he's got another issue because the three of wands says that he pissed one other person off who does not have the same uh values as taylor who is going to take this opportunity to go right where it hurts so knight of cups reverse when he was first starting out young and immature um he made a lot of mistakes especially emotionally and especially with his personal life and guess what they're coming all out skeletons will be coming out about scooter when he was younger when he was first starting uh the tower card is reversed which is like drama dramatic catastrophic event um and it's old which means he's already solved it he's already dealt with it it's all old shit but the temperance card is reversed which is like impatience and imbalance which means like this person has a grudge there it is page of wands reversed they've been trying to talk about this for a long time but they are a hypocrite themselves um and nobody has listened to them uh, and nobody cared but the high priest is upright which says timing is right and then we see the knight of wands which means they're angry there it is there's the petty issues this is a petty person i don't think that person will get what they want in the long run the eight of swords is reversed which is like feeling pressured or trapped or a victim of circumstance the magician is reversed which means their moral character will be in, in in question what they're saying is a little bit of misdirection miscommunication it's like cutting things and you know pacing them in a weird way and the knight of pentacles says they've had the same song and dance for a while the ace of cups is reversed which says that they have some sort of connection through a person that he works with uh, so it's like one of my clients they're close to them in some capacity City. Um, that's what I'm seeing. Uh, do I think that person will be successful? No, and they really need to watch it because if you're looking at situations like that, uh, you could potentially get you know allegedly sued or anything like that. So I wouldn't mess with Scooter if I were anyone. So hopefully we can avoid this and not have the same mistake we had before. <laughs> Maybe we can learn from the last situation I did. I, I predicted where there was like a bunch of chaos, right? <laughs> the James Charles reading. Maybe we can learn from that situation. Um, Y'all are not gonna like this. Mm, I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. So Taylor has, <sighs> forgetting oneself is about drinking the Kool-Aid. And do I think that Taylor has a little bit of an ego issue? Yes, I do, I do. The Masquerade card tells me there's two sides to Taylor. There's good Taylor and bad Taylor, and bad Taylor is winning. Uh, the Anger and Chains card says that she's been so angry and frustrated for so long that she's gonna start to take it out on people that it shouldn't be. Taylor, be careful. I see her getting really, 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 really frustrated. And I see her boiling. Like, this to me means that she's going to get sloppy and make a mistake if she doesn't calm down. Because the Is This Me card tells me that it's a mirror. It's a mirror. So the things that she's angry about could potentially eat away at her and have her become what she despises who she despises. So she needs to be very careful. Seriously, if you're a Taylor Swift fan, you better support her because I'm telling you right now, if you don't support her and she gets even worse, she's gonna start to make a lot of mistakes and she's gonna start to burn a lot of bridges. So she just needs to calm down and wait. I know Taylor is very, 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 very used to having to fix things, address things, make them perfect, having her image right. For once in her life, she's got to allow things to be messy and let the universe deal with it. If she lets the universe deal with it, her moral character will be vindicated. If she doesn't and she gets in the mess, she's going to come out the loser. Taylor's best form of action is inaction. I'm serious. Taylor, I'm serious. Literally. I'm like she cannot fight fire with fire here. She will lose. She cannot fight fire with fire. She just got to promote her album, get collect her coins and wait. She can't. And I know it's going to be hard for her cuz she's very 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 much someone that like wants to see people get what they deserve. You know, she can't this time. She can't. She's got to lose sometimes. You know how you say like you can lose the battle, but you win the war? She's got to lose the battle. Lose the battle, okay? And guess what? Even if she loses the war, it's fine because there'll be another one. You have got to relax, chill out, and accept that sometimes situations, they don't go the way we wanted them to, and sometimes they're, they're, they're crappy, but let the universe deal with it. I'm telling you right now, She's got to be careful because stuff is going to come out about Scooter. And I do think people are going to support Taylor, but Taylor is going to make it hard for us to support her. She's going to make it very hard for us to support her, especially if she goes the, the route that she's used to going, which is like getting her friends to defend her. Please don't do that, girl. Please don't call up your friends and get them to defend her. I know 
I was talking about this yesterday. I'm like, I know, I know this girl is not about to call Selena Gomez up and get a picture with her and Selena. Cause you know that's gonna be two birds with one stone girl. She calls up Selena like, hey girl, can we take a picture together? It's gonna be her and Selena look cute like, mm. and then what's that gonna do? It's gonna piss off Demi and it's gonna piss off uh, Justin. So I'm like, girl, come on now. You know she got her on the line, girl. She's like, she got the phone out. She's like, I all I gotta do is press this. Girl, all I gotta do is press this, this button, girl. And I'm finna get a picture with my BFF and we are gonna post it on the gram and you are gonna be mad as hell and Demi's gonna be real mad and Justin's gonna be real mad and I'm gonna be like, eh. So she needs to not do things like that, seriously. As much as I would live for that moment, like I would, live, I was talking about this yesterday, I would live for her to do something like that. Looking at the cards, no, don't do it. Please don't do it, girl. Just ignore it and promote your music. If anything, if you're going to do it, at least promote your music when you're doing it. But, I mean, I really wouldn't recommend doing it. It's hard, though, because, like, Taylor's – how do we stop Taylor from being Taylor, right? How do we stop her from being Taylor? She can't be Taylor this time. She's got to be someone else. She can be Yeller, her opposite, her alter ego, Taylor and Yeller. Anyways, Libra is reversed with the Cancer card reverse and the Saturn card. Well, it looks like Kim Kardashian is here. So Kim Kardashian is that Libra. Uh, the Cancer card is uh, about uh, emotions and sensitivity and family, and the Saturn card is a hard life lesson. I actually see the two of them mending fences. Uh, I don't know how long this will take, um, but it seems to me like Kim has regrets. Since becoming a, a mother herself, uh, even more so, you know, she's had like a million babies since then, since getting even more invested in her own family, since getting even more emotional, um, and since seeing um, a lot of the same issues uh, in, in, in her life and in Taylor's, I actually do think the two of them are gonna bond. Uh, the Saturn card is like, I've learned a lesson, and I've learned a lesson when it comes to men. Uh, so I do think the two of them are gonna bond over how men have treated them. In fact, I think they have a common enemy. Saturn card usually means there's a common enemy between the two of them. Yep, fire card, which is anger, Venus, uh, be about money and relationships. So connections to other people that, that could potentially generate money and the Neptune card, which is illusions and disillusions. So this person has a fantastic reputation, but they're nothing like that behind closed doors and they share this common enemy and that's what they're gonna be bonding over. So I don't know how long this will take. It might take a while. I, I, I can't really tell you how long that'll take, but the two of them have a lot more in common than it looks like on the surface. So there you go. There's Kim Kardashian. She's a part of this reading too. I know she brought her up, but there she is. She's that Libra. I'm telling you, she's that Libra. Um, <clears throat> Especially with the Cancer card there, girl. Um, the only other thing I can tell you is Taylor's dad screwed up. So um, the Saturn card is upright and the Cancer card is reversed with the Libra. So Libra would be legal issues uh, when it's reversed. So there's obviously issues with contract and, and legal issues. Cancer card would be family, Saturn is dad. So there's a lot of things. I know when she first started, I'm pretty certain her family helped her, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and so there are a lot of mistakes that her dad or whoever was in charge of her in the beginning of her career is someone who's like a dad, uh, if it's not exactly dad. Um, but there's definitely someone who is definitely someone who um, was kind of like giving her advice or whatever that just, you know, kind of screwed her over. Um, so she's not lying about that part either. I mean, that's what that says. I mean, I don't, she didn't really tell us too much, but that's what I'm seeing. You know, it's like, you know, the beginning phases is kind of where she went wrong. Um, and the contracts were not as great as they could have been. Um, here's what I will tell you though. Taylor is looking to make her own label. I don't know if she's done that already, um, but that is something she's looking to do. Um, I think that she's scared to make the leap. So, I mean, I guess it's not that shocking, right? Most of our su successful musicians end up doing something like that. Um, but she's looking towards owning more stuff. Um, Maybe this might be a little bit frustrating for the fans to hear, but Taylor actually wants to transition into a more power dynamic. Um, it's not that she doesn't like performing. Um, it's just that I see her th really realizing that she can make a really big impact if she were to get into like executive positions or in control in some things. So I'm seeing her kind of really, 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 really transition. Uh, this should be the beginning of the transitions for her. She kind of wants to get the different demographic. She wants to check the demographic off on her list and then transition. So that's what I see for Taylor Swift and Scooter Braun. Again, Taylor, 
you kind of screwed up a little bit, but it's okay. Um, I, I think you got baited. Um, you didn't get baited because they're being malicious. You didn't get baited because they're trying to destroy you. You got baited because they're trying to make more money off of you because they don't believe that your catalog is worth the money that they spent on it, which is kind of crazy to me, but that's how they feel. They wanted to make a business uh, decision that would make them even more than what they could have made. So that's why this is happening. Um, and they kind of baited you into making this post. So that's what I see. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you liked it, make sure you follow me on Twitter, Instagram, uh, YouTube, and uh, YouTube. You're already on YouTube. Twitter, Instagram, and Twitch, Amphrodite. Um, go to Amphrodite.com for your own personal private readings. They are not available currently, but they will be soon. I finished all of my orders. So when I went viral, I had four, over 400 orders. It was around 600. I completed every last one of them. Uh, so check your emails, check your spam folders. Um, I will be reworking the system and then I will let you know on my Instagram and my Twitter and stuff uh, when that is uh, available, when that is ready. Um, also sign up to the newsletter on my website uh, to know when they, they're ready and available too as well. Um, so yeah, if you have uh, any you know sort of comments about the reading, uh, go ahead and put them in the bio. In the bio, go ahead and put them in the comment section. Uh, make sure you are also hitting that bell for notifications on YouTube. And if you have any celebrities you want me to do a reading on, let me know. I hope you guys enjoyed this. And just for clarification, I like Taylor a lot uh, recently. Uh, I, I've always been iffy about Taylor. Certain things about her, I'm like, eh, I don't really know. But I've seen a lot of maturity and growth in her these past few years. Uh, and I'm quite impressed with some of the, 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 the things she's been able to do. So I actually do like Taylor. So bye, guys.